Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from Team Leifist, two US Navy FA-18E Super Hornets will arrive in India by the end of May for ski jump trials. The two single-seat jets are currently being modified with instrumentation. The Super Hornets are planned to demonstrate the operational capabilities for nearly two weeks at the shore-based test facility SBTF in Goa's INS Hansa Naval Air Station for Indian Navy. Back in January, it has also been reported that Rafael M completed its testing from the SBTF at INS Hansa Goa starting from 6th of January. During the trial, Rafael M fighter was pushed through intensive trials for nearly 12 days. It is to assess whether the fighter aircraft is best suited for ISC Vikrant, the indigenous aircraft carrier of India, because Rafael M was originally designed for Katobar, that is catapult takeoff but arrested recovery landing. But Indian aircraft carrier is designed to have Stobar, that is short takeoff but arrested recovery landing. The Rafael M was able to successfully demonstrate the short takeoff from INS Hansa. During the trials, Rafael M took off armed with four air-to-air -air missile, which seems to be MBDS Mica IR or EM version, two drop tanks of 2,300 liter capacity, and an Exocet AM-39 anti-ship missile. While all goes in favor of Rafael, its width is a matter of serious concern. The Rafael M, which has wingspan of 10.9 meters, cannot fit into the lift of INS Vikrant. It can only be fitted with its wing tip removed. The next contender for deck-based fighter for ISC Vikrant is F-18 Super Hornet. As per Surendra Ahuja, the Managing Director of Boeing Defense India, Boeing has developed a capability especially for F-18 Super Hornet that will allow for the faster movement of the aircraft between flight deck and hangar deck without having to remove or modify any part of the aircraft. This statement from Boeing's MD clearly poses F-18 Super Hornet as a better option for Rafael M as later can only fit in the lift with its wing tip removed. Boeing's MD has also posted on Twitter that Hornet meets performance requirement of the Indian Navy. In response to his tweet, we have asked, wondering if its length could be an issue with IC Vikrant lift. He responded to the tweet stating that no fits on the lift. It's also important to note that Boeing MD is a former Indian Navy test pilot who retired at the rank of Rear Admiral. This clears all doubts regarding the fitment of FA-18 Super Hornet on the ISC Vikrant. Now if you look at the Indian Navy's requirement for a deck-based fighter, it needs 57 fighters which has been now trimmed to just 26 which includes 18 single-seater and 8 twin-seater trainer variant. This requirement also poses a challenge for a Phylum as it does not have twin-seater trainer variant. Rafalem is also costlier than F-18 Super Hornet. While we know that Rafael M can fit on the lift of Vikrant only after removal of its wing tips, however, it's been reported that 14 Rafael can fit on the deck of Vikrant, whereas only 10 or 11 F-18s can fit on the Vikrant's deck. Another point that goes in favor of Rafael M is that it works with landing system on Vikrant. However, F-18 needs optical landing system. Back in December 2020, F-18 has conducted the ski jump trials in US. Boeing is expected to conduct the trials of F-18 by May end from the shore-based test facility at INS Hansa alongside Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.